Hello, everyone. Angela O'Hare with my... Oh, her sidekick, Damien. <laughs> Your favorite Las Vegas realtor, that's me. And we're over here at a brand new community called Monument in the Reverence Village in Summerlin West that just opened up. This is a townhome community located right off of the 215 and Lake Mead. Right, folks? Ooh, good spot. Location, good location, spot. location. It's a beautiful day out, and we thought, Hey, we need to do a video. Yeah, let's check it out. It's been rainy and, and windy for a while, but they just opened up last week. So we thought, hey, let's try something new. Let's introduce you and actually see me this time when I do these videos, spice things up. Throughout the video, I may do some drone footage as well. Yeah, we'll show you what it looks like up, up top. Yep, all right. We're gonna take a tour of the Danbury floor plan. And this is typically always on the end. So how they have it is they have four plexes and 16 plexes, and the two Danburys are on the end. That's why they don't have that one modeled because it's a Danbury, so why be redundant? Mm -hmm. They only have three floor plans in this community. Um, and so I thought it'd be fun. Let's tour, right? Check it out, just open it. Yep. So, okay, I like the side entrance for this. So the Danbury has, let me get my cheat sheet. Um, it's 1869 square feet with three beds and a loft, or it could be four bedrooms and no loft, two and a half baths, and all two car garages. <coughs> My throat already hurts from talking. So this is the largest floor plan, and that's why it's at the end. Nine foot ceilings. <coughs> And there's going to be a total of 168 townhomes in this community, and they anticipate it to close um, by end of year, sell all of them by end of year. I'm going to push stop for a minute to get a throat lozenger. Okay, much better. Um, she said that the soonest move-in will be available in June. They just released one fourplex, and all of them have reservations on it. Unfortunately, they haven't released the prices. They're still working on that but soon they will have the prices for you. She did say that um, this community is going to be spec heavy, meaning most of the homes are going to be completely specced out. And again, what that means is all the upgrades, the cabinets, the countertops, and the flooring have already been selected. Because this is a townhome community, sometimes it just makes sense. That way it doesn't slow down production and they can keep building. Now, the nice thing buying a spec home is that Pulte designers pick out all these upgrades and choose things that are most popular that people like to have. So I like this floor plan. Again, this is the largest floor plan in the community. And what I've noticed, all of them have their own little outside balcony for privacy. There are no yards because this is a townhome community. Let me flip to the Danbury. None of them have bedrooms downstairs, and so this is just nothing changes here. And then we're gonna go upstairs, but let's look at the kitchen first. So it looks like they have this nice large island with the three pendant lights. Um, this will be pre-wired for a ceiling fan if you want a light or a ceiling fan. And then it has a nice dining room area. None of the refrigerators or washer and dryers come with the house, just FYI. Then, um, so this looks like the upgraded appliance package by KitchenAid. You have the oven and the microwave, which is, I think, the best combination ever to have. Let's see if these are soft closed cabinets. Yep. So they did an upgraded soft closed cabinets, and this is like a brown gray, which seems to be pretty popular right now, mm -hmm. with, a, with the quartz countertops. Very earthy. Yeah, a five burner cooktop with the range hood, the nice custom backsplash, as well as the large white basin sink. And then to the right over here, we have the, um, like the drop zone for the garage. Of course, it's locked, we can't access it. So this is a nice feature to have. You can make this into like a coffee bar or drop zone when you're coming in from the garage, as well as a decent sized pantry. The monthly HOA for Monument is 125. It is a gated community with a picnic area and they will have a community pool. 
And then the HOA for Summerlin West is $60 a month. And they have a half bath down here. Yeah, this is more like browns and tans mm -hmm. with the little stack tile and a pedestal sink. And the coat closet's over there. Let's see what else. Um, I said 168 homes, right? Four plexes and 16 plexes. It's kind of a nicer carpet. Oh, this one has the loft. I think I would do the three bedrooms and the loft. I always like having a loft. Yeah. So you have the two bedrooms back here. You have the guest bathroom with the single vanity and I'm sure it's an option to do single or two. This is an upgraded cultured marble. It looks like quartz, but it's not. And they also added that upgraded cultured marble in the tub shower combination. They did the 12 by 24 tile in here as well. So this would be your little linen area. And then the laundry room. Those are neat tiles. Yeah. With your smart panel. And usually these, I don't know, this doesn't make sense. How are you going to reach it? Yeah, it's too far away. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that doesn't make sense. You need to have more wider cabinets instead of those narrow ones. Or it's more forward. Well, they can't move it forward. That's why you have to have wider cabinets. Deep, yeah. Deeper. So this looks like a smaller room. Cute little nursery. So in these models, it looks like they put all can lights in every room. And they have the pre-wire for the ceiling fans. I would imagine with the spec homes, hopefully they would put the pre-wire in every room because everyone wants pre-wire. Oftentimes on a spec home, the entire downstairs would be solid flooring where the upstairs would have carpeting. Uh, ceiling fans are important in Vegas. Yes. I like a loft. So this could be the loft or you can convert it into a four bedroom. I think the loft just makes more sense unless you know you really need to cram people in. And I like having an extra TV room area. Yeah, it's more inviting too. Yeah, it's very nice. I like this tile. It's a cool pattern because you can see it many different ways. Triangles, octagons. You're right. And here is the primary. Nice size. with a decent size closet. We'll go on the balcony in just a minute. In the same 12 by 24 tile, but they did that in a um, subway pattern with a double vanity and they also did upgraded tile. Just not a fan of the subway style. I like modern stacked tile, either horizontally, horizontally or vertically, but I like that these showers have the benches. That this tile goes great with the cabinet. Rain mm -hmm. head. Sorry, I was getting a call. Yeah, the double vanity, like this is like a brown gray color, same as the rest of the house. And oh, that's kind of cute. You have the his closet. <laughs> <laughs> this would be your closet. Yeah, your smaller closet. I, I could fill that and the throne room that's where i was going <laughs> yep he's always in the way no i'm not <laughs> just kidding i know all right let's take a look at this view so as you can see as they build out i don't know if that's going to be the park right there probably mm -hmm, that makes sense so but you're going to have other units in front of you blocking this view um i would imagine there's going to be units right here though too actually it looks like the road no no okay mm, maybe that's a big road though it's a thick road and then that might actually be a lot that they're going to convert into a, a no it's, it's not big enough never mind you're right that's probably the park 
So you have the 16 plexes right here next to the fourplex. So yeah. the fourplex in the middle was already released. Those lots have been released and all of them have reservations on it. Then the 16 plex right here will be released next. And then the other, I think it's a 16 plex also. Gosh darn it. Sorry, people just keep on calling me. I should put do not disturb. Anyway, um, it looks like they're probably gonna have 16, four, 16. Uh, again, this is gonna be very spec heavy community up here in Reverence Town Homes. And the reason that they've really done this, and we're gonna show drone views as I'm talking, is that they really wanted to uh, capitalize on the housing affordability, even though this is probably gonna be priced in the higher 400s. They wanted to capitalize and build up because this is the trend over here in Summerlin West, especially close to or off of the 215. The reverence community is straight ahead, but they wanna capitalize on views as well as building up and more affordable housing. But it's Summerlin, so affordable to one may not be affordable to the other, right? Yeah. <laughs> because you can get much cheaper townhomes elsewhere in the valley um, that aren't starting in the high 400s. I do believe that's what she said. And this one probably be in the 500 range since it is the biggest. So to summarize, we're taking a tour of the Danbury at 1869 square feet with three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a two car garage or the option you can convert this loft into the fourth bedroom. Um, and again, to repeat myself, everything's going to be specced out for the most part. You will not be able to select any of your upgrades because they are townhomes. It makes more sense to spec things out and get things moving ready so it doesn't delay build time because we've sold townhomes, we've sold condos and um, those types of buildings tend to take a lot longer than a single family home. Let us know in the comments what you think of this floor plan and what is your floor favorite floor plan in this community. I think I like them all. I don't think I have one single favorite. Yeah. Um, I like this one because of the size. It's the biggest one. Um, I can see myself living in any of them. Don't you think? Yeah, I like the one with the rooftop. Yeah, that one was cool. You. Now let us know in the comments again. Also, if you want to learn more about Reverence Community, we've done a video not too long ago. You can check it out on my website at... Check it out at NeighborhoodsInLasVegas.com Or, I am your neighborhood expert. Mm -hmm. I am your Summerlin expert. I live and breathe Summerlin, and I live and breathe new construction. You can call me at... 702-370-5112 The most important thing is, if you are interested in this community, before you even take a tour of the models by yourself, you need to make sure that you have your real estate agent with you on the very first visit. Otherwise, we will not be able to represent you. And believe you me, you need an agent on your side when you're buying new construction. I know these builders. I know the reps. They know me very well. And you never know. I could strike a wine and dine and yeah, wheel and deal, right? Get a good deal. They know you. <laughs> they know me. Anyway, folks, most importantly, hit that subscribe button and like button. Yes. And let me know what you think. We'll see you on the flip side.